Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dark Knight Zone I Five Two. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm playing more Lego Marvel's Avengers. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and favorite. And today I'm going to be playing the Iron Man Three movie level because I did tell you guys in the other video. I think it was in part six, I believe I said this, but I did say that I was gonna I was gonna play the movie levels in chronological order because after the first Avengers movie came out, Iron Man 3 was the next movie to come out after the Avengers. It was the next movie. And then after Iron Man 3 came out, Thor the Dark World came out. So it's like I said, I'm gonna play the levels in chronological order just like the movies by date because I already know uh, Cause I already know like what years the movies came out in. Cause Iron Man three came out in 2013, a year after Marvel's the uh, after Marvel the Avengers, and Thor: The Dark World came out the same year, except it just came out a couple months later after Iron Man three. And I'm gonna go space, cause this is how you select the other levels. You gotta go to space. So this is it, ready and fire. So this is the Iron Man 3 level. All right guys, so this is it right here. And uh, let's get rock rolling into it. All right. You'd think that Tony Stark would be happy that he helped save the world from the Chitari, but something about him is different now. He spends most of his time building new Iron Man suits at his mansion and has somehow managed to get himself in trouble with this mysterious menace known as the Mandarin. I'd like to think he knows what he's doing, but, well, he's Tony. And by the way, leave in the comment section below, what was your favorite Iron Man film? Was you it Iron Man 1, one 2, or 3? Penthouse? Well, that's where I live with Tony Stark. Normally, it has a beautiful vista of the Pacific. But today, it has a fleet of gunships hired by the Mandarin to redecorate our lounge. He's the same villain that's been creating all kinds of chaos around town, even putting our friend Happy in the hospital. Guess he's not so happy now. Definitely not Tony's best decision giving our home address to a bunch of lava-blooded villains. On a positive note, at least his new Iron Man suit fits me snugly. Yeah, that was, like I said, that scene was crazy when the movie first came out. Tony! You, you're okay, right? We need to get you out of here right now. See, this is why I don't like it when you bring your work home with you. Okay, so we're playing at this point start right now because we don't have the iron armor, of course, pepper pastas, just like in the film. Because I really, I really like how they did everything this game because I like Lego games are like movie based like this. I mean they're pretty like Lego games are pretty cool if they're comic based as well. But I just really enjoy this game of how you know it's just based on the Marvel Cinematic Universe and stuff. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I probably should have guessed. Can you control it from your side?
yeah, because I remember in the film, Tony, he, he lost all of, like, his robots and stuff, like, I think one of the robots' names was called Dummy, I think that was the name of that one robot that was in the Iron Man films. And also, the cool thing that I like about this game is that for the movie level, they also come with, like, brand new uh, locations, like, of how you can actually go to Tony Stark's Malibu in this game. It's really cool. Like, you can go to his mansion, or Malibu, whatever it's called. I call it Malibu Mansion instead of what it's called. Hold on. I'm gonna get you out of here. Like I said, guys, I have not played this game in two years, so I kind of forgot to do some of, like, of, like, what to do. Like, what's, I forgot, like, some of the objectives to do. Like, some of the movie levels on my part. Like I said, because it looks like you can't fly in this game right now. Like, you can't fly right now. Oh, I, I already know that Captain America can do that. Okay, so... Wow, that's kind of weird how you can't even go... Okay... Or, may, or I think I'm supposed to take... Oh, wait a minute! I think this is what I was supposed to do. Oh wait, that's one of these. Dude, really? I honestly forgot what I was supposed to do. Okay, so... Because I can't go over there right now. Sure, because I don't know like why it won't like let me go over to the other side. And I can get blown up by the freaking helicopter. That's 
what I was missing. I need her. Oh. Here's a little holiday greeting I've been wanting to send to the Mandarin. I know there's more, there's gotta be more than, more than, cause I know there's more than one helicopter in the movie. Second, we thought it was over, but a final missile slipped past. I watched in horror as the entire condo sunk into the abyss. Thankfully, Jarvis had managed to help Tony escape a watery end, but the suit had shorted out, leaving him stranded in Tennessee. Further adding to his troubles, the hot-headed villains happened to be visiting the area, and Tony's only ally was Harley, a local boy with a pretty mean potato gun. The pair were left with no choice but to take on the flame heads together. Tony really should start keeping the rest of the Avengers on speed dial. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, where they have found Tony. Whoa, okay, yeah, so I remember cool. this. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, in, in a bad way. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. There are transformers around here that'll shut the power off. I accidentally did that <laughs> twice. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> wow. This kid just just now. Wow. Oh, that was supposed to happen. Yeah, I was gonna say because Tony he has to have at least some technology on him. Of 
course, you know, I gotta do this really quick just in case. Yes. Okay, yeah, that was for his us. Uh, okay. Cool. Sorry, you guys probably hear this out of my controller. Oh, I think he has to get on. Yeah, because he's, he's smaller, so yeah. Hey, look! There's a transformer up here! Let's smash it and go! I know that. All right, that's one of them taken care of. Now to find the other one. I didn't hear him. I don't. I forgot what he said. Like, I really do. My TV, like my TV, is kind of on low volume. I mean, I can hear like I can hear some of the stuff. Like I said, the reason why is because you know I don't want none of the sound of the TV to get into the microphone. That's why. Right, because Tony, he can't really destroy it. Because he has a potato gun, and Tony, he doesn't have his armor on him, so yeah. It's been kind of harder for Tony to do certain things. Because, you know, of course, he needs his armor to do certain things.
Oh yeah, I remember this part. Yeah, I remember this. When they're in the restaurant and he, and you know, he uh, pulls up the place. Yeah. I wanna try to get up there and get those studs. Like that's what I'm really trying to do. Wow, I can get up here. That's kind of too far of a job. Like I said, I really want to get those studs. Oh man, she looks angry. Like, really angry. How is she even glowing like that? Yeah, he does say that in the bell. Oh, yeah, okay. You got a plan for this, right? It kind of feels like we're a little outmatched right now. A chicken inside of an oven. Really? <laughs> oh, oops. After some creative use of a microwave, Tony defeated the remaining extremist-fueled agents and headed off to take down the Mandarin. Then, things got complicated very quickly. The Mandarin turned out to be a washed-up British actor called Trevor, and the real yeah, that was, was actually someone familiar. Man, that was so unexpected. Neighbor, the nerd turned superhuman called Aldrich Killian. I've got to admit, he was looking much more suave these days. Killian only went and took me hostage, exposing me to extremists. He also kidnapped the president, too, and planned to serve him up like a roast turkey. Tony turned up to save the day, this time with Iron Patriot by his side, and his entire back catalog of Iron Man suits. The ten-year-old with the potato gun would have come too, but he had to tidy his room. And you saw those suits that were in the, the little comic picture, those suits? You could actually unlock the suits that were in Iron Man 3. You know the other suits that he had built? Uh, in Iron Man 3, you can actually get some of those suits in this game. Like the Silver Centurion suit. And then there's this like speed suit. Like, there's a speed armor, and then there's a stealth armor. Like, you can actually get those suits from the movies. Like, some of the- like, some of- there are certain suits that- that you didn't see in the movie. And, uh, like I said, because there were certain suits that weren't really seen in the movie. Because, you know, there was a whole bunch of them, so they could, like, exactly show all the suits like that. Like one by one, because that would take too long. It was kind of weird is that uh, how War Machine had changed his name to Iron Patriot in Iron Man 3, but I'm so glad they changed the name back to War Machine. The Iron Patriot, I mean, it's an okay name, but War Machine just sounds way cooler. Like, it sounds so much better. Oh yeah, there's that one suit. What is it called? It was this suit you actually saw on Iron Man 3. And actually, I think you can actually get this suit in the game. That suit, I think you can actually, I think you can get it. 
Actually, I want to play as Iron Patriot, actually. Actually, let me blow this up. I'm trying to get my stud bar meter filled up. That's what I'm trying to do. Song. Back to playing as Iron Man, of course. Wait, what's the team on combo? Let's see it. Oh, oh that that was that was really the team on combo. Huh. Wait, I can't get this blue stuff right there. Might be a glitch. Oh wait, there we go. Now I got it. I got the blue stuff. Uh, these guys take them down. And I think this is the boss battle right here. I think. Well, it's kind of close to the boss battle actually. Yeah, this is the boss. Um, oh, I know that's kind of an Easter egg. Like, I know that's a reference. I know that. Oh, yeah, I can't think of where. I do know that that's a, it's a reference. I forgot what Rock Song was. Like, I've seen that in so many other Marvel games. Rock Song. I forgot what it means. Leave it in the comments section below. What is Rock Song? Or actually, maybe I might look up on my phone or computer, maybe. Well, on my laptop. I might look it up. I don't exactly know what Roxxon is. Like, I've heard of it. 
But like, I forgot what it meant, like... Better in the movie when he said I'm the Mandarin. Like he said it so much better. I got trying to get my stuff meter filled up. Oh, oh. Try all you want, you can't win. You know that, don't you? Oh yeah, he ejected out of the suit. Okay. That's just like from the movie where he uh, ejected out of the suit, remember? Where he got switched from suit to suit? When he was uh, fighting the Mandarin? Oh, sorry about this, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry.
Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just go real quick. Come on, come on, fix it. Come on. Circle, circle, circle. Okay, so I'm, I'm picturing him just fighting off. and blow mark 42. No! Even after being cooked in an Iron Man suit, wow, that was... Killian was still up for another round. I didn't even get to fill up my stun meter! I was in no mood for any more nonsense. Combining my terrifically this, this, toasty this powers level was kind of... It was way closer. too short. It was... Grilled the big geek. It wasn't that, that long. Out of the way, Tony celebrated by blowing up all his suits. Promising to spend the holidays with me rather than with a screwdriver and an arc reactor. With the president now safe and sound, Tony promised to use his super genius to find a cure for the extremis enhancements. Straight after we'd had a festive dinner. Oh, and after he'd had his shrapnel removed. Oh, and don't forget, he is Iron Man. Ready, aim, fire, and that's right. He's Iron Man. Yeah, I almost have my stuff meter filled up. Almost. Okay, Mark 42. Iron Patriot. Those wow. Air Strucker. Fury. Okay, so that brings me back here to Age of Ultra. Alright. Well, well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, favorite, and this was the Iron Man 3 level. And I'll see you guys in Thor of the Dark World level next. Alright, and I'll see you guys then.